Hey Surf Office fans, Serena here. And in this video, I'm going to share with you five of the best Energizer games for your next team meeting. Energizer games are often used to warm up a group, raising energy levels and improving focus. Let's get started. Our first activity is called Human Rock, Paper, Scissors, and it's a fun twist on the classic childhood decision-making game. In this version, players will use their bodies instead of their hands to make the shapes of rock, paper, and scissors. To start, you'll want to decide on actions to represent each word. For instance, rock might be curling up in a ball on the ground. Once you've decided, split the group into two teams. Teams will then take a few seconds before each round to decide as a team which shape they're going to make. As always, rock beats scissors, paper beats rock, and scissors beats paper. Our next game is a hilarious energizer called Pink Toe. In it, colleagues will have to listen to directions and press different parts of their bodies to different objects around the office. Sounds crazy? Let me explain. To start the activity, have a facilitator call out a color and a body part. Players then have to search the office for an object that matches the color and place the chosen body part on it. For example, the facilitator might call out blue elbow. Players would then have to run around the office to find an object that's blue to put their elbow on. Make it competitive by setting a time limit or restricting how many people can touch one item. If players can't find an object or they run out of time, they're out. The last one standing is the winner. The third Energizer game I want to share with you is called Fizz Buzz. To get started, have everyone stand in a circle and take turns counting upwards from one. But here's the twist. Every number divisible by three must be replaced with the word fizz, while every number divisible by five must be replaced with the word buzz. Numbers divisible by both 3 and 5, like 15, must be replaced with the word fizz buzz. A typical round would sound like this. 1, 2, fizz, 4, buzz, fizz, 7, 8, fizz, buzz, 11, fizz, 13, 14, fizz buzz, 16. The goal is to get around the circle as quickly as possible. If somebody makes a mistake or hesitates for too long, they're out. The last person in the circle wins. Next up, we've got Shockwave. And if you've got a big team and want a speedy game to boost the mood, this is the game for you. To play, ask the team, except the facilitator, to form a circle. Players will then hold hands with players on either side of them and close their eyes. The facilitator will then very quietly touch the shoulder of one person in the circle. It's this player's job to begin the shockwave, moving their arms in an up and down wave-like motion to players on their left and right sides. Players will then continue the wave, taking the shock from one arm and sending it on to the next. This continues until one player on the opposite side of the circle feels the shockwave in both arms simultaneously at which point they'll yell kaboom and everyone can open their eyes. And finally, I've got one more energizer for you. And this game is great to help everyone get to know each other better. It's called My First Job Was to play, hand out pens and post-it notes and have players write down their first job without showing it to anyone else, placing it in a box in the center of the room. Players will then take turns selecting a post-it note from the box, reading the roll aloud, and trying to guess whose first job it was. If they guess wrong, other teammates can jump in to help. There you go. Five Energizer games you can use for your next team meeting. Let me know in the comments below which ones worked best. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one.